I just called work to short a couple of guys. I can't even get the schedule right. I love you, Dad. Hey, what's up, Lucy? There's a party after the game on Friday. I'll see you there. You're too beautiful to be invisible on you. Please don't say that. The movie is a kind of a coming of age story for all of the characters involved. It's, uh, it's about a, a family of three, Lainey and her husband, Chuck, uh, and their daughter, Lucy. Lainey and Chuck had Lucy when they were 16, when they were teenagers. They were high school sweethearts, and their development was a little arrested because of that. I just can't do it anymore. Can't do what? Be my mom. I need something else. I need to find something. Lucy is, is 16 when we meet her, and she's incredibly precocious. Um, the parents are, are less so, you know, they've been moderately well-educated, but, you know, they're, um, they don't have her innate sophistication, and she's, as she's starting to kind of mature and stabilize, their marriage is beginning to crumble. You have your job now, right? So somebody had to make time for parenting. You call that parenting? What, I'm not enough to get jealous about anymore? You have to throw Lucy in too? Anything I need to be jealous about? What should I be jealous about? Go cool off before you do something really stupid. Well, I play Chuck Diamond, and he is the father of Lucy and the husband of Lainey Diamond. So me, as a father, I have two kids, and um, I know how hard it is. <laughs> so I was able to bring you know, a lot of, you know, what being a parent is about to this role. <laughs> Come here. There's my girl. How are you? Make me a muscle. Dad, no more sawing. I want to be a chef. All done being daddy's little lumberjack, huh? Welcome home. Lainey is a very young mom, and I think she, she doesn't realize how much she's had to sacrifice in order to raise her daughter. And I think she's starting to experience the rebellion that she was never able to have as a teenager because she assumed this enormous responsibility. Something smells great. It's just chicken. Oh, I, I didn't know you were fixing anything. It's my birthday. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I can't believe I made it to 16 without seriously kissing anyone. You know, memory is malleable. You could say that I was your first kiss. I don't know how much credit I can take, but I'm really proud of who you are. I do feel a strong parental avoidance phase coming on. I had such a great time making the movie. I'm, I'm actually friends with the director, Max Mayer, and it's always nice to make a project with someone who you have uh, uh, an easy rapport with and a history with because there's a kind of shorthand and, and trust that, that comes with that. Max, is uh, he's, he's wonderful. As an actor, it's the most important thing to me, uh, the director, and being in the hands of uh, somebody who you trust and, and Max epitomizes that. We're all doing the best we can. Is lying to dad about your job doing the best we can? We would hurt his feelings. Should I lie to you about what I'm doing to protect your feelings? I didn't give up my life. My family is my life. Why do people stay together in bad relationships? It's a very intimate, very idiosyncratic story in a lot of ways. I mean, I think the, the themes are extremely relatable and very human. It's a movie that should be seen by a lot of people, and, and now we'll have a chance to. This is not the person I want you to be, Lucy. You want me to be like Mom, who, as it happens, you got pregnant when we were both exactly my age. Your mother and I gave up everything. Jean-Paul Sartre said we experience a sense of being abandoned when we realize there is no God, or in this case, parent, to guide us. But it forces us to take absolute responsibility for our actions and choices. 